Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying this really bright summer that we're having in the UK. Yeah, where has the summer gone? I mean, so I'm wearing a really bright dress today because I'm manifesting the sun and I'm blending quite nicely in with the interior as well. Today's video, basically in preparation for some summer festivals. So what? A festival next week that we're off to which i'm actually working at and then we've got another one after, another one after that and then another one after that as well as trips in between so i thought stalky needed a little bit of maintenance and tlc and also a lick of paint if you've been watching our videos or following our um, instagram i don't know how many times i've mentioned we're going to paint the van partly our fault for not well you know what it's not our fault it's the weather's fault we need sunshine to paint the van we can't paint it in the rain so i think the forecast is looking okay in the next few days because if i want it done before we go to this festival it has to be you know sunshine so today i'm basically going to pop to halfords give the van a good scrub and a good clean clean the inside get a list ready of everything i need to take also thinking about getting an awning because i was really really relying on it being sunny this summer for now i've just pulled up in a car park i've not paid because i hate paying <laughs> i don't think there's cameras so i'm gonna sit here and have a bit of my lunch before we head off but i hope everyone's good let me know what you're all up to, if any of you are going to any festivals this year. Board Masters is the big one that we're going to, so let us know in the comments if you're there. It'd be cool to say hi. And I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, yes. Sushi. Mmm. I'm so good. This might be my third or fourth time at Board Masters first time in a van so i'm very very much looking forward to it the last time i went to port masters oh my gosh it rained boy did it rain it was awful okay it was a good festival but i think we got there like on the thursday so and obviously in the evening so everywhere was just full there was no nowhere we could see to pitch the tent Anyway, we found somewhere like right on the edge, like near the sort of pathway where people walk. So that was fun. <laughs> Got everything out. The tent was soaked, sleeping bag was soaked, pillows were soaked, all my clothes were soaked. <laughs> and I remember just thinking right, like, we have to just push through. It's just like, one of those things where you think, is this supposed to be fun? Why am I here? So we managed to get the tent up in the pitch black and the pouring rain. No idea how. It wasn't like a tiny tent. I'm not a fan of putting up tents. So I don't even know how I did it. My back, my hips, everything hurt because it was damp and cold. I think I fell asleep about 10. There were people partying outside, but I was like, I have to sleep through this. And in that moment, I remember thinking, I am never, ever, ever going to a festival in a tent again and i didn't so um yeah i think that might be one of the reasons i got the van just one of them but anyway i am gonna stop waffling on finish my oh dear sushi that i nearly just poured all over me and then hit the road have another chat and i think the first up will be halfords because i'm gonna get the wheel arch filler First and foremost, we can't paint the van until that's done. So, Halfords, car wash, and then I'm not sure. Let's go. Halfords is the first stop. Also, 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 it's all the same. I am craving the sea so bad. I've just been so busy, as some of you might know. We've just moved into a house, so we don't live in the van full time, just in case you didn't know spend a lot a lot of time in it now especially so we've been really busy doing that the point was i think i might get in the sea i think i need it so bad but i'm going to concentrate on the road rather than waffling on a load of absolute nonsense and i'll see you at halfords 
Okay, so I'm at Halfords. So I'm going to pop in and find some bodywork filler to finish off these rusty wheel arches. I'm not entirely sure which one it is. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Can't be that hard. Here we come. Got the wood, not the wood filler, the, um, the body filler. Been doing a lot of filling the past few weeks. <laughs> so I feel like this might not be enough. I feel like I should have got another tin. So that's that job done. And now I'm gonna wash the van. And I don't actually remember the last time I took her to a car wash or washed her. I'm gonna do it manually. I'm gonna do it myself do with a bit of a workout. It can be a bit of a workout, to be honest, that's probably why I've not done it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, oh, still got the radio problem. The garage that looked at the van a few months ago, they said that the tracking was a bit off, but because the, there was one of the tires leaning inwards, which was causing the steering to be really heavy, we managed to fix it. But it started to do it again. The steering is getting a little bit heavy when it comes to like maneuvering or turning sharp corners. So that's something that needs to probably be looked at again because it, it is a bit of a workout, you know, trying to get her moving around the way sometimes. But it's fine. So there seems to be a couple of them blocked off. So I'm just waiting guys we're gonna hurry up probably not wearing the best attire for cleaning like this is brand new <laughs> probably gonna get soaked but it should be fun it should be a laugh oh this fell off the wheel as i was um driving i'm feeling like it's a bit of a hazard so i've not put it back on because i thought i thought that it fell down into the footwell and I really panicked. I thought that gets stuck behind the brake. <laughs> so yeah, can you see now why I'm having a bit of a, a maintenance day? I think I should have bought some glue. so the van is nice and squeaky clean <laughs> well i don't know about that i couldn't reach the roof but what i'm gonna have to do is climb onto that roof on my hands and knees and give it a good scrub i think there's a bit of mossage going on up there so i'm gonna have to get that under control and i didn't actually get too soaked to get my hair out of the way my hair is a mess look at my nails like i'm trying to be glam like more glam these days because i'm quite lazy so that's that done what i'm actually going to do now is i'm gonna go and see my family dogs so i might give them a walk and introduce you to them i don't think you've ever met my dogs i don't think oh. sorry i just dropped you um tripod isn't stable right now <laughs> Okay, so me and Storky, Storky and I just had a little bit of a mare. <laughs> As I was saying to you about the camera, um, loads of stuff was going on on the road, people were pulling out, and then 
the tripod just like went flying, the phone went flying and the tripod nearly smashed my window and then my top has undone itself and my top <laughs> like undone and like I think it pretty much fell down as I was driving and I'm not wearing a bra so that was fun. The camera broke so I think it's to do with the lens. It'll probably work now but no it's just like just saying that nothing's working. I need to stick this back on the wheel. This has been happening for a while now. Just been ignoring it. I don't know what that is. It's a bit of glue. So it currently Whoa, had a bit of a spin then. <laughs> it looks like this. Um, I don't think there's anything going on here. It's obviously where the old horn used to be. But, oh yeah, the camera's turned the wrong way. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just like reconfigure and then I will get back to you in a minute. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. Okay, so here we have Benji, my little Benji, and this is Mr. Darcy. So they are getting quite old now, so Mr. Darcy has just turned 12 a couple weeks ago. And my little Benji is going to be 9. I absolutely love them. They are a bit of a nightmare sometimes, but they are just adorable. Anyway, I better stop blabbering on, these two need to get out. So I'll catch up with you when we're down on the green. So far, so good. That actually went really smooth. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about. It's been a dream today. They have been so good. <laughs> Bless them. So we just had a nice little walk, haven't we? And he is freaking out now, shaking like a leaf, but he always seems to do that. Don't you, darling? <gasps> Hi! Cool! <laughs> yeah, it's like, who's this creep? Somebody just drove and parallel, like, reversed onto the road. Turns out it was my cousin. <laughs> so it happens when you're in your hometown, you see everyone and anyone. But, um... Yeah, he looks super chill, apart from your panting like a maniac. Um, he just gets overexcited when he's in a new environment, don't you? But then he's been in the van many times. He's just not s stayed overnight. I just feel like, also, this is just so hot in the summer. We can hear them panting. Poor Darcy's over there in the passenger seat. Here we go. Here you go. Water makes everything better, doesn't it, babes? Yeah, I'm gonna call that a day today, but see you in a second, which will be tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow in a second. Good morning, guys. So I have woken up to glorious sunshine, which you can probably imagine I'm very happy about. So I've decided to go for a nice sup. So conditions are incredible for a paddleboard so I just couldn't really resist going so I'm really excited to take you along with I don't think we've ever done a stand-up paddleboarding adventure Ooh, come on. oh so yeah I'm gonna concentrate on driving and I'll catch up with you on the beach okay so I'm parked up and the weather is just insane I am boiling in this this um like dry robe towel robe i actually bought this for tom for his birthday and he's not worn it yet and i have so but i'm gonna get ready um yeah i'm gonna get out of this and get in the sea it's so nice let me show you 
don't know if you can see that. Oh, look at that sea glistening. It is beautiful today. This really cool electric wireless pump. So it's the first time I'm going to use it. So let's see what happens. First time I've used the electric pump, so I don't know if I'm doing it right, but uh, uh, I just have to wait a bit longer. <laughs> I didn't have the valve screwed in properly. <laughs> Oops. Okay guys, so I've had like an absolute <laughs> standard fail. There's a mega onshore wind, so I'm basically being pulled back in and uh, that's it really. It was really flat when we first got down here, but all the troubleshooting with the electric pump has just put us back time. The wind's come in and yeah, I'm basically back, back in the shore. <laughs> There's my sister. So yeah, I'm not even paddling. So yeah, we'll try this another day. Okay, so I'm back in the van. My sister's gone and it is really quite cold now. Um, we can't keep up with it, can we? So um, it was a bit of a fail, but we tried. Did see a seal though, who popped up right next to me and it was a little bit alarming. But it's always good fun so oh, I've got this in the wrong way so I'm gonna just deflate the paddleboard now and on to the next job which is actually packing for the festival so I'm just gonna deflate it basically and plug it and sit on it <laughs> dressed and I'm ready for the day that was a little bit of a fail that paddleboard wasn't it but it was still lovely it was nice to get out on the sea it was nice to see my sister it was nice to see the seal so it's all good we'll try again next time and we'll go around some lovely coves but for now I need to get ready for the festivals I'm kind of halfway there I've got some food shopping in some alcohol shopping in essential got my clothes ready to pack um just need to basically pack them so we can have some storage space in the van and yeah tidy up the van just as a bit of organization so i'll show you what i got and also this festival like i said i am working so i'm going to need to keep my energy high because i do quite a physical job so uh i'm just going to be living on i've just ordered a ridge monkey as well someone recommended on instagram to get a ridge monkey. I've been meaning to do it for a while, but I just kept forgetting. It's like probably something you should have when you have a stove in a van. But yeah, so I plan to just have a lot of paninis and toasties and wraps. It's always just an easy go-to. So I got my tortilla wraps, some bread for toasties, so like cheese, halloumi, anything cheese really, or vegan cheese, because I don't eat meat. And um, like some kebab wraps, sort of like gyros, 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 whatever you want to call it. I'll probably get some veggie, um, like bacon and kebab stuff. It's just bread so far. I love bread. What can I say? I am the carb queen. Got some butter, actually. Probably need to keep that in my actual house and take a bit of that. We don't need the tub. Got some free range eggs. Always easy, always nice. Breakfast, fried egg scrambled egg omelette might have all three um so it's just nice and easy like when i wake up because i'm gonna have to get up quite early so just throw something together in the pan because i do want to try and not spend so much on food there uh as you probably know if anyone's been to festivals like i think last year a cheese toasty was like 10 pounds so 
Mm. Got some microwave rice. And what I actually do with this is I fry it in the frying pan. So I'll make some like paella or something. I actually bought some prawns and tofu and stuff. So we'll use that. I'm thinking of having that on the evening when I get there. Got some oat cakes to snack on. Sauces, even though I have like a whole box of sauces that I've salvaged, so I'm not sure why I bought them. See, I've literally got all of these, like all my McDonald's sauces, so we're not gonna go short of sauces, that's for sure. And of course, the essential baby wipes. We all need a baby wipe in our life at a festival, so got two packs of them just to be on the safe side. And oh, of course, toothpaste. It's gonna be a bit of a muddy one looking at the forecast, so it's gotta be boots. And so you've got cowboy boots, it has to be cowboy boots at a festival. So we've got those, the water. Yeah, it's really difficult this year to know what to take because it's not cold, but it is in the evening. <laughs> like last year, it was a scorcher. So just gonna have to take waterproofs, layers, and just like some a mixture of things. Instead of taking like a big bag, like a rucksack, which just takes up loads of room, I use one of these bucket storage things. So it just squishes under the bed. Even my clothes in it, it just squishes down. So it's really handy. And my boots can go in. So I've got these really cute trousers. They're always handy just to slip on really light really colorful really festival vibe and i've actually got these from like parent poor last year i do have quite a few of these in different colors and patterns from all over the world so and i've also got some more funky trousers this is like emo goth girl era i love it so i'm thinking Going to need a few pairs of trousers because I just feel like it's gonna be a bit drizzly. Shorts, can't go wrong with a lovely pair of denim shorts. Literally go with everything. So I'll probably just get the van cleaned up now, put the food in the kitchen, and actually I'm gonna to head to the range and some more DIY stores because I do need to get some glue. The van paint isn't gonna happen. I've realized it's just not so maybe it will happen in the next few weeks but oh. okay so that's it from me guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to tune in next week where i will be vlogging this festival so yeah you'll see what i'm up to what i'm doing for work and i'm probably there right now as you're watching this because i'm posting this as i go if that makes sense but yeah thank you so much and have a good rest of your day